Hello everyone, my name is Rohit Gautam, I am from SR Secure. So today we will be seeing the practical of CIA tried and understand what are the concepts of CIA tried. So let's get started. So as you can see here, CIA, so what is CIA? CIA are the three pillars of information security. They are very important to understand the concepts of cyber security. So find C stands for confidentiality, I stands for integrity, A stands for availability. So confidentiality means whenever there is a communication between server and client, the communication and the data which is being flowing should always be between those parties only. There should be no third party unauthorized person who is able to see or snoop in between and see the data. So what does integrity mean? Integrity means that on a web server when you try to download any file or you try to take any data from any particular web server or a website you get the same thing to your computer to the client that is integrity in some cases i'll tell you an example that uh, you want to download a movie you go onto the internet and you search for that movie name you get hundreds of new websites open you go onto one of the website and then you download the movie and what you see is instead of downloading a movie file which is a .mp4 file you download something else maybe a malicious file a virus a worm or a trojan which is not .mp4 that is .exe file so what happened between was when you were trying to access a file from the server instead what happened you downloaded a malicious software or a virus or a trojan so something changed in between accessing the server and the server giving something back to the client so this is integrity so CIA says that integrity of the data should not change okay so what is availability availability means the resources should be available 24 7 to the open internet and to the public the classic example of availability is when your board exam results are out. For example, your 10th or 12th standard results are out. At that time, you are very excited to see your results. So what you do is you go log on to the website and try to search for your results. You keep refreshing, 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 but the website doesn't open. So what's happening behind is like you, so many other students are trying to access the same website. But what's happening behind is the 10th standard and 10th 12th standard board results server is not able to give service to all those IP addresses which means his the server is not able to properly share the resources or not able to take the load of so many IP addresses trying to access the same particular website at one time so it says 404 not found or try again later so that should not be in case the resources should always be available 24-7 to the open internet and the public. So let's see the practical of integrity. So we'll take an example that uh, I want for example say 1000 rupees in an emergency from one of my friend whose name is Bob. Okay, So I called up Bob and I told Bob, hey Bob I need some money. Could you please send me some money in my account number? Bob was yes, sure I will send you. How much do you want? I told Bob I just want 1000 rupees. Bob said okay. I told him Bob this is my account number 1234. I said Bob that Bob could you please send 1000 rupees in my account number? Bob said okay. So he told me kindly send me your account number and transfer you the money. So I made a secret document. I wrote down my account number into it. I saved it. Okay, so this is the secret document which contains my account number. Now, I sent this secret document with my account number to Bob through email. Now, what happened in between is, for example, an attacker came to know that I'm sending my account number to Bob so that Bob can transfer the money in my account. But what he does is he changes the account number to his account number. Okay, so we'll see it. Before that, let me open up 
even more notepad. So I have a small utility through which we are going to check the integrity of files and I'll show you how practically we can check the integrities of files that those files has been modified or altered or not. Okay. So I'll take this document and I'll drop it into Hashcalc. After dropping, you can see there are various numbers of different different items. You can see MD384, MD2 and so many. So we'll see just an example with MD5. So I'll copy this MD5 hash string into a notepad file. This is the original hash file. So I'll write here original. This is the original hash. So now I was transferring this file to Bob and some malicious attacker or a hacker what he did he changed this account number to his account number for example let's say 12345 is the hackers account number he changed it and he sent it forwarded this new modified secret file to Bob now this file went to Bob Bob is sending the money now Bob sent that 1000 rupee to this account number to the attackers account number okay so to verify the integrity of the file what Bob should have done is Bob should have modified have seen Bob should have done is Bob should have looked at to the hash of the file so he should have understood that something has been changed into this document okay now I call up Bob and I say Bob I haven't received the money 1000 rupees still can you please send me it's urgent Bob is like oh Rohit I've already sent the money now you've not received the money I said no so I Tell Bob that I'm sending you the account number again and I'm sending you my hash value of my account number, the secret file. So I send this hash value to Bob. Bob sees this and Bob on his end checks for the hash value of his file and he sees that this is a different hash with what Rohit has sent, which means this is a different hash from what Rohit has sent which means there was some alteration into this file okay so this was a very basic example of how to check integrity of information or data okay now I'll show you one more test case I'll do your four which means I've again change the file to its original form okay now let's see the integrity of the file let's see the hash so you can see this hash is exactly same to this hash see you can see verify both these hashes are same which means this file has been now recovered or modified to the same it was okay interesting test case which I'm going to show you okay I'll open again this file you can see into this file this is my account number and the account number is perfectly correct which is one two three four okay I'll save again this file I'll just open the file and then again drop this file here okay and I'll see now the hashes oh my god the hashes are changed you can see it this was the hash original file this was the hash of the original file I did not modify any character like it's see it's same one two three four I have not changed it to five or six or any number but the integrity changed why is this happening you can pause the video for a second and you can yourself think and look out why this happened Okay, fine I'll tell you so 
what integrity of the CIA trial says whenever there is a minute to minute alteration or modification in the file the integrity gets damaged so in this file I did not change the account number but you can see I added something else into this file you can see this this is the white spaces I added because of which the hash of the file changed which means the integrity of this file has been altered now I'll delete this I'll delete this so I've deleted all the white spaces I'll save this file now I'll again drop this file into this utility now I'll check the hashes I can see this is the hash which matches exactly to the original hash so guys this is it we have seen a practical of cia tried in which we saw how to check an integrity of a file you can make out yourself that the file has been modified or altered or not one more thing you can do is you can go to virus total okay you can go to virus total You can go to virus total website and you can do the same thing if you do not have this utility for example you are running on a phone and you do not have this utility on your phone okay you cannot install this hash utility on your phone so what you can do is you can quickly go onto the virus total website and you can upload the file for which you want to check the integrity I want to check integrity for this file secret I'll upload confirm upload and wait for the file to get uploaded you can see your analysis in progress now this virus total is analyzing this file against most of the famous antiviruses so to see that if the virus is clean or not so we can see good everywhere all the antivirus are showing that this file is clean we'll wait for it see you can see major 54 antiviruses have already scanned the secret.txt file and they have found that this is this file is clean well, you can do the same things whenever you download anything from or open internet any file music movie anything you can upload to this website and you can check that the file is virus infected or clean okay let's go to details you can see here basic properties md5 and copy this md5 and paste it here See, this is same as an original, which means the integrity of the file has not been modified. So in case you do not have that this utility or you're running on your phone, anywhere you can check the integrity of files like this. So thank you so much guys. Uh, I hope you liked it and you got little understanding of how to check the integrity of CIA tried. If you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe or in case if you have any doubts or queries you can post it below into the comment section so we'll see you next time if you have any doubts you can also post any messages into our whatsapp group i'll share the link of the group in the description you can ask your queries and doubts so till then uh, stay safe take care till then Stay safe. We'll meet again with a new video and a new practical. Thank you so much.